Hey beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustle TV. I know you guys been waiting for this tutorial and I am here to bring it to you today. Today I'll be installing a uh, lace bob, a bob wig, a uh, lace wig on my client today. And as you can see, my sister went ahead and got her face beat to the gods and now we're gonna install her wig. Now today's wig is provided by Wig Encounters and they sent over this 14 inch uh, bob wig. It came with like, you know, the nice little even ends and everything. And today I decided to do a side part um asymmetrical cut for you guys um and if you're not sure what that is that's just like um um one side short one side uh long type of bob and you know it will be like pushed back behind the ear on the shorter side and you know like i mentioned you guys been going crazy for this tutorial so here it is now um i attached the unboxing in the bottom left of this video so you guys can check that out to see what um you know see what all came in the package with this wig and i did go ahead and bleach the knots and pluck this wig and it fit her head perfectly uh perfectly this is a medium cap size and this wig was very very full like i absolutely loved it and jumping straight into this tutorial i just came right in using my level 16 uh ruby kisses foundation and i am using the um the lighter shade that's in that palette and i'm just applying it all over you know that cap and all the inside of that lace as well just to make sure that her wig blends in with her beautiful chocolate skin perfectly so yeah um when you are doing a lace on dark skin just choose the foundation color that um best matches their skin tone um you never want to go too too dark because it will you know kind of show too dark on the skin so make sure you pick the perfect foundation that matches better just put it up to their skin or if you have to test it out um you know on their forehead or something just do it so you pick the perfect color but with that being said um i'm going ahead and you know adding my layers of my beautiful hustlers uh lace melt adhesive and i'm going to apply four layers of this glue today for her meltdown um and molding process and once i do go ahead and apply all of my layers on this wig i will begin to lay down the wig and get the whole you know melting process going on So now that the whole, you know, all of the glue has been, you know, dry clear, I'm just going to go ahead and pull her lace down into that glue sitting there right on top of where I placed the glue. And I'm just going to have her hold each side as I blow dry that lace on the heat setting and just combing and melting that lace in. And then you guys already know I go in and cut off the extra lace and tap down whatever else is lifting.
and I'm and I'm just gonna like repeat the same steps I did on the other side, cut the extra lace from around the ear, raise it off the rest, and continue to tack down whatever else is lifting. As I always recommend, um, if you feel like the lace is not needed, just go ahead and cut it off. Um, you don't really have to glue extra lace that's really not needed, but if it is, you know, if it is needed, just go ahead and tack it down. So now that all of the lace is tacked down, I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to uh, create my side part and I am doing a rounded part. So I'm like, you know, creating like this C curve part. And then I'm gonna go in with my wax stick and apply my wax stick all um, on the top and you know, sides of everywhere I need to hot comb to get it really pressed out nice and straight and silky. So I'm just gonna go in with the glam wax and spread that wax all over the top. And of course, going in with my hot comb and pressing everything until it is super flat and smooth. And then I will get into uh, pulling down my baby hair sections and then spraying the hairline and tying it down um, with the elastic. Sakari.
and I let that elastic band sit for about uh, 10 minutes. I just went in and reflat ironed the hair, um, just making sure it's nice and straight. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove that band. And of course, her lace is super blended and super melted, of course. And she's looking so cute already. And we're not even done with the styling process. But this is what it looks like after removing it. So I'm just going to go ahead and comb that hairline out and make it safe, uh, not safer. <laughs> but actually softer and then I will begin to you know cut and style the baby hair um, area and then I will get into you know cutting the wig And if you have watched my previously uh, my previous bob tutorial, then you already know I like to go in with my razor comb first and kind of get my guideline of how short I want the bob to be towards you know the back and the side on the shorter side. So I'm just going in with my razor comb and just razoring, uh, razoring off all of that hair, and then I will go in with my scissors and clean up the cut um, before I begin to um, you know bump it and everything but as i mentioned this is an asymmetrical bob cut so this side will be shorter and the other side will be longer so i'm going to focus um you know on the short side first and then show you how i come around and begin my diagonal cut for the longer side and then make it match up with the rest of the bob And for this um, portion right here for the video, just make sure you have some really good sharp scissors. Um, notice if I start cutting with some scissors that are not sharp, I just go ahead and get some fresher ones and then I begin my cut. But um, now that I have the hair combed to where I want it to fall in her face, I like to start my longer side diagonal. I like to go from the bottom up so I can really create that sharp, um, you know, diagonal cut. I don't like to go from the back to the front because sometimes you can cut off too much hair and make it too short. So, so um, I just want to, you know, start by cutting the front and make it match up to the back. And now I'm just going to take some heat protectant spray. I like to use the Fantasia's heat protectant spray. And I'm just going to go in with my flat iron and begin to bump the bob on out. You know, I like to spray that all over and then I just start bumping my bob. And I'm not going to go too, you know, detail about the bumping part because it's pretty simple. So I just kind of fast forward through most of that. But I like to use my big Remington iron and just bump it out because I just like the way it gives, you know, the hair that really nice sleek and 
nice softly bumped look so i just use the bigger ones to do the bobs but then you know after i bump it i do go back in and i cut any hairs that i like just straggly in the back or just have no need to be there or make the cut unperfect and i just go back and clean it up so um, once i finish bumping i will go back and clean up the bob So now I'm just going back in with my um, flat iron and I'm just touching up the bob, just making sure it is bumped to perfection and everything like that. And the last thing will be uh, for me to just go ahead and, uh, you know, conceal up the part to get that part nice, clean and sharp. And that will pretty much sum up this tutorial. You guys been waiting for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some likes, some comments. Um, and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bells because I have uploads that i do back to back and her hair is just laid super melted i'm absolutely loving this installation and i just want to thank you guys for tuning in to i am beautiful hustler tv and i will see you guys on the next video stay tuned